Hey, what's up guys? It's Elastic Sparty here, and in today's video, we've got a Curve First replay. Of course, this is the Tier 10 German battleship, and it is one hell of a great ship. Now, some of you guys have been asking for us to do our Captain uh, perks as well as our consumables and upgrades. If you are wondering what uh, what upgrades and consumables and captain perks I am using on a certain ship. I actually do a series on my personal channel, which I will leave a link down below, where I go over all of my personal uh, my personal setup. And so, if you guys want to go check that out, that is something that I like to do. So, but I will actually post everything here because I figured why not? You guys probably want it anyways. So of course, ran run all premium consumables. You can see them in the middle, uh, middle bottom of your screen down below. In terms of captain perks, I run, uh, I run catapult fighter, then expert marksman, turn the guns faster. Then I run superintendent, and then finally manual fire control for secondary armament and advanced firing training. And then I also get. Uh, basics of survivability, and I think I've got just enough for Adrenaline Rush. First salvo goes out on the, the, I believe that was the Minotaur? Yes, it was. And let's see if I can't get any hits. In terms of upgrades, I am, of course, running a secondary build. So I get, uh, for the first slot, I've actually got, I believe I've got the 100% survivability for AA and... Secondaries, because I do want to keep my secondaries alive, try and keep them alive throughout the battle, of course. Uh, you can certainly pick the other one, which is Main Armament Modification 1. That keeps your turret health up and reduces the chance of getting your turrets destroyed. Certainly could do that. Uh, it's really not a bad option. Hit that cur uh, that cob up for 2700. Would have liked a couple more hits. Granted the fact that he was broadside, but my guns decided not to give that to me, but my secondaries uh, helped me out there. So, as I mentioned, secondary build, so I'm going to be running the secondary battery mod. And then, I believe I am, yes, I am running the... Uh, the upgraded guns on the Kerr first, and with that, I also need the reload mod, so my reload can get down to 28.6 seconds, I believe. You can see here in a minute when I shoot. A little over 27, it looks like. I'm sure Adrenaline Rush kicked in a little bit there as well. Granted, not all that much, but in any case, after that, I run Damage Control System Modification 1. Then finally, damage control system modification 2, that is to reduce the time that you are uh, flooding and on fire by 15%, or 15 seconds I believe it is actually. And then finally concealment, because getting your concealment down to a decent a decent uh, distance, 16 kilometers is awful when it ter in terms of concealment, but uh, you kind of, you don't really need it, but it really does help in certain situations uh, of course a full concealment build you could get down to probably around 13 and some change but of course uh, you would also have to be giving up a lot as well and that that in my opinion is not very important you've got a lot of HP and actually you do what you do a lot in this ship is doing a lot of kiting I after seeing a lot of gameplay of it and actually realizing that this ship doesn't do all that well in close quarters, you can see I can at the angle that I'm giving this Don score, you can see I'm about a little over 35 degree angle and I can't even get all my guns to bear. I have to actually turn to about a 45 degree angle for my guns to all bear. So that is rather poor. I go into the Shima smoke thing, I can get some nice cover, and then this gearing actually ends up starting to smoke me, so I'm going to actually just stay here uh, for the meantime. Get a nice citadel on the Yamato with my two rear turrets, you can see the gearing smoking there. And then finally, 
I launched my first two guns. They obviously don't hit. Uh, a little poor dispersion as well as uh, mis-aiming on my part. I popped my heal, gained some health back, and I also popped my hydro because there was a uh, Shimakaze that fired torps. And so he, while he's reloading, the cob was up, what is that, up northeast. So at that point, I, I figured he's not going to be a threat to torp me, but there's still two Fletchers and a Z-52 in the area, or at least I don't know where they are, but that's where I popped Hydro. If I didn't have Hydro, I would most likely eat these torpedoes, uh, forcing me to repair my uh, the flooding. But with Hydro, I should be able to escape, escape this pretty much pretty safely here. Yep, I dodge all those torpedoes. One thing why I do recommend a secondary build, even on the Grosskörper first, uh, rather than an accuracy build, is just for the fact that, look at that accuracy, I get double citadel, 34k, and I'm also pelting this Fletcher. Basically, you get two ships for one. Now, granted, that uh, with the accuracy, I might have gotten a third citadel and done more damage. But again, don't forget that percentage uh, damage is based on a percentage of damage to a ship rather than just raw damage. Uh, so that is something you do have to remember. Donskoy coming out of smoke. I'm always going to take that shot, but I end up hitting my curve first for two over pens in the process. And since it was a bit of a quick snapshot, I didn't properly aim down my sight and get a good bearing on what direction and speed that Donskoy is going, so I missed a couple of those shots. Instantly repair that flooding from the Fletcher. And then I realized that uh, right about now that there's that Z-52, our Shimakaze spots him. And my secondaries start going to town. Of course, I'm always going to shoot at a destroyer. You should always do that. I get a nice solid pen as well as one over pen for around 4,000. And I pop him for another 5,000 it look like. But my secondaries are going to be doing a lot of damage as well. So I'm just waiting for them to start pelting him so it looks like he's actually gonna smoke up Arshima's in a bit of a bad place but thankfully my secondary shot right before he uh, smoked up and concealed himself and that got me the first close quarters oh I guess that's a spoiler but I get my first close quarters of the match my first medal I should probably say so far already at 100k the current first, like I said, it's a pretty good kiter. Uh, it, it does this very well. Again, I know when I was playing the Bismarck and even the Friedrich to extent, despite how much I dislike the Friedrich, I would slow down. If I'm kiting away, I would slow down uh, if an enemy is like 11 kilometers get, just to get within the 10.6 kilometer range of my secondaries and actually just uh just let them go to town fortunately for me those torpedoes ended would have taken two of those but again luckily for me i didn't have to hold my fire i'm waiting for a better target i don't think the curve first is a very good target don is going around the island so i'm just going to start shooting at this bismarck he's showing enough of his side at a decent enough angle 55 degrees that i should be able to get a nice penetration i destroy one of his guns and do 11k almost citadel-esque amount of damage secondary is going off again another reason why you want a secondary build on german battleships they battleships they all shoot he which means fires galore posted a, uh Putin has posted a few videos on his on this channel showing how easy it can possibly be with uh, secondary Bismarck uh, to get a witherer in the process of doing damage to Bismarck I managed to land myself a confederate and the nice thing also about the curve first is while the firing angles on your main guns aren't very good the secondary angles are actually a little bit better so I kill that Bismarck 
And then shots out on the Minotaur. Only one penetration. I kind of expected that because he did go uh, undetected. Shoot my front two turrets at this broadside Moskva. He's at about well, pretty much full broadside for all intents and purposes. And I get a triple Citadel. 47k damage right there. Beautiful shot. And that just bumped my damage up quite a bit. Again, the other thing, another reason why I say this ship is not meant for close quarters, besides this horrible turning circle of, I believe it's over a thousand meters or one kilometer, your turrets also turn extremely slow, but that is okay, because uh, I've also got secondaries to compensate. With my Hydro, I'm able to spot those torpedoes, but again, that's not going to save me from uh, eating a full broadside on a her first. Pop my heal though, and everything should be okay. Get that kill right there. Can I get this Don Scory? Will I get him? He's on 270 health. My shells are coming in, and my secondaries actually get him for a double strike. Alright, guys, so looking at the post battle results, ended with 206,000 points of damage, 500,000 credits, 5. 1,673 XP, Confederate, uh, double strike, two, yes, two close quarters with my awesome secondaries, get those flags in, Dreadnought and High Caliber, almost a crack, and I was four kills, uh, or one kill away, f I got a total of four kills, and six Citadels, 69, hey girl, uh, 69 secondary hits for the win, team score, I topped the team, and I forgot to mention that I'm in a division with Puddin. Sorry, Puddin, but uh, he's in his cob. He managed to do a decent amount. My base XP, though, 2,440. Not a bad base XP for a battleship. Looking at damage distribution. Again, secondaries didn't do all that much, but again, it was a lot of them. Uh, a lot of it was to destroyers, and that one uh, somewhat low health. Bismarck and I guess non as well, but I was really drilling these uh, these battleships. You can see thirty two thousand, and I guess cruisers as well. Thirty two thousand Donskoy, twenty four grand to Bismarck, but no, most notably forty seven k to a Moscow and a sixty four k to a Yamato. I guess also Z fifty two, almost half his health. Um, but. I also tanked 162,000 damage and almost 2 million potential damage was shot my way. Credits and XP, again, tier 10, not going to make a lot of money, but 183 grand is not bad. 16,000 commander XP to wrap it up. Hope you guys enjoyed this Curve First replay. If you got any, any recommendations or uh, ships you want to see, leave a comment down below. We'll try and get that done as soon as possible. And again, if you want to see any of my captain builds, I know I, I said them here, but they're also on my personal channel, links below. But anyways, guys, comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.